Sonic Advance, baby. I actually have some pretty nostalgic memories of this game, considering I did have a Game Boy Advance growing- Is there a fucking hard mode in this game? No. Why is the options music Labyrinth Zone? Oh! <laughs> never- Never in all my years, I think, did I ever go into the options mode, but now I'm getting PTSD. God, that's fucking horrifying. Is that Idris Elba? Yes, it is him. Uh, but yeah, Sonic Advance. The first Sonic game to ever actually debut on a Nintendo console. This is the first Sonic Nintendo game. And uh, yeah, it's it's a good fucking game. I really like it. Made by the same people who made Sonic Pocket Adventure. Uh, just a really interesting story behind this one. Uh, very nostalgic, considering... I feel like this Sonic Advance game is definitely the best of the bunch. It's the class. It's the closest that replicates the uh, the Genesis games, and on top of that, just in general, I don't know. I love the Sonic Adventure feel. Oh, I'm playing Sonic Battle eventually. Problem is, Sonic Battle is actually a decently long game. Cause if I play Sonic Battle, I want to do all the story, like all the like you know, like there's multiple story modes. In that game, like there's one for almost each character. That's uh, I basically want to do all of it. So, Sonic Battle is gonna happen though. I it's just gonna be at a time where I'm not committing myself to anything in particular, which is why something like Sonic Advance is pretty short. I could beat it in like two hours if that. I think Sonic Battle at least would be like an eight hour game. I, I want to say. Maybe I'm tripping, but I remember that being pretty long as a kid, and I really enjoy that game. Oh, fuck you. But yeah, the physics of this game are pretty close overall to the Genesis games. Uh, much more so than any other game that Dimps created outside of Pocket Adventure, but you know, not many people played that one. There's actual rolling physics and momentum-based gameplay. Uh, if you're on a slope, your jump altitude changes. It's, it's cool. I like it. Uh, after the second game is more emphasized on just, like, straight speed and less on the logic of, like, momentum, so. And I, that's a good game, too. It's the only Advanced 3 I'm pretty sure is, like, considered the bad one, so. But my memories of Sonic Advance, the series in general, come with the original. I didn't play a lot of the first or second, uh, the second or third ones growing up. Bow, bow, bow. I love this game. This game's really fucking awesome. God, it's just such a nostalgic feeling game. I, I, also, can we just talk about the sprite work in this game? Because I feel like the sprite work in this game perfectly replicates, like, Sonic Adventure's feel. It's just, oh, it's such a fucking cool game. <laughs> All right, first boss fight. Ow, bitch! And uh, yeah, go much like Sonic Two or Sonic Three. Uh, at the end of every second act, there's an Eggman boss fight, of course, as per usual. All right, later, Eggman. There's the first of many. Yeah, you can literally just get fucking crushed by the capsule if you're, like, completely under it, which is fucking great. It's so funny. <clears throat> also, the soundtrack of this game... Mm. Soundtrack? I don't usually like Game Boy Advance soundtracks. Because I don't like the crunchiness of the Game Boy Advance. But, uh, I think Sonic Team and Dimps in general did a really good job with this soundtrack. I actually really like it. Despite the crunchiness, the, the tracks are very memorable. Yeah, Game Boy being one of the bigger nostalgia machines. It's funny because I wasn't, like, huge on the Game Boy Advance growing up. I was, because I've always been more of, like, a console-like player. But, 
I don't know, you know me with Sonic. Anything fucking Sonic, my little dumbass bought as a kid, so... Even if it was, like, absolute dog shit, I, I would buy it, so... Thankfully, this was a good game. It, it was actually well worth the purchase, but... As a kid, I think I bought anything with Sonic on it. Like, any game. Like, if you can think of a Sonic game back in the 2000s era, I fucking bought it. And then, sometimes I'd play it and be like, this is shit! And then I would never return it for the sake of my Sonic collection. Take me. I remember as a kid, I would always get stuck on this zone, though. Maybe I was just really shitty as a kid. At, like, everything. Because I used to always get stuck on the second zone in every Sonic game. <laughs> Marble zone. Chemical plant. Like, fucking, uh... Hydro City, like, everything. I would always get stuck. So. Green Eye 2D Sonic. This is the first, uh... This is Sonic Advance. This is the first Sonic game on a Nintendo console ever released. Sonic Adventure 2. Based, based. Good game. Uh, was it? Oh yeah, I want to grab this hook. Yeah, Mecca, this is an interesting little time capsule for me, because I'm very nostalgic for this game. Growing up, uh, when I got a Game Boy Advance, this and the remake of Super Mario Bros. 2 were the first games I got for it. Plus, being the first Nintendo-made uh, Sonic game is, in itself, kind of, you know, like, a monumental thing. <laughs> Mecca! <laughs> Oh, fuck. This game's really cool because it actually implements a lot of what made the classic 2D games good, such as momentum-based physics and um, overall level structure with its multiple pathways and whatnot. But with the twist of it being in a modern style, which I really like. I, I love that. I'm giving you props for that one. That one was pretty fucking good. I, I, you know, I actually really love the the take on a classic style gameplay, but with a modern aesthetic. Especially because this came at a time when Adventure 1 and Adventure 2 were the most recent games. So it definitely has a adventure feel in its overall sprite work, which is fucking cool. I love that. See, I'm not a fucking classic Sonic purist. I can appreciate anything Sonic. I was just saying as a kid, I used to buy literally every Sonic game, whether it was shitty or not, so... Thankfully, this was one of the good ones. This was one of those purchases as a kid I asked my parents for, and I actually greatly benefited from it. Damn, this fucking, uh... This act is pretty long, actually. I mean, granted, I did get fucking, like, stuck at one point. Uh, you typically don't get stuck often, but I will say there there's, like, some caveats that are, like, inferior to the 2D games. But this is a very good replicant of it overall. Of, like, classic Sonic. With its overall loop-de-loops and multiple pathways. I did buy that. <laughs> I don't, I'm not proud of it, but I did buy it, and I beat it in the same day. I'm definitely not proud of that one, though. I, I'm very disappointed in myself. Goodbye, Eggman. Nice. Oh. This was my favorite zone as a kid. Casino Paradise Zone. This place looks so fucking cool. It's just... It, it is just Casinoopolis. But, you know what? I love it. I love all the themes of this game. They're, they're all very basic themes. Like, you know, you had your beach theme, which kind of represents Emerald Coast from Sonic Adventure. And you had your factory theme. And, you know, you have your casino theme. But I like it. They, they do add a lot of cool stuff to the table. Like the little balloons. 
again, as someone who's, like, not big on handheld Sonic games, I, I typically, like, Sonic handheld adventures are not usually, like, the most memorable. But fucking this game, whew, this game's fucking really memorable in my eyes. I would say this and the first Sonic Rush are probably the most memorable of Sonic's handheld adventures. Pocket Adventure's good, but, uh, obviously, I wouldn't say that's memorable, because it's kind of pretty obscure. At least the show of Sonic Boom is funny. The game, the game is fucking terrible, but the, the show is hysterical. <laughs> wow, wow. Like, I would unironically watch Sonic Boom. Like, right now. Like, that's something I definitely would just, like, sit down before bed and, like, watch. I used to watch Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog before I was like, Oh my god, the momentum-based physics are fucking me. So, that's probably the only other Sonic cartoon. Maybe Japanese Sonic X, but, like, there's not, like, out of, out of Sonic cartoons, I would probably rank that second. I, I'm not big on Satay M. Uh... I'm, Sonic Underground is obviously a fucking dumpster fire that we shouldn't talk about. And, uh, yeah. I mean, Sonic X, again, the dub, the, the dub version of X is only not good because of things 4Kids purposely omit it, which ruin the story. The Japanese version of Sonic X doesn't obviously omit anything since it's the original, so it, it's actually pretty good. I've just never watched it in its entirety. What's wrong with the Sonic Boom game? Oh, so much. <laughs> it is a... It is a... Glitch fest. I, I, you know what? Uh, it actually has... It is actually more of a glitchy, physic, nice uh, nightmare than Heroes. And if I'm actually saying Heroes is, like... Is, like, technically better than something, you know some, it's fucking bad. I'm not saying I like Heroes. I'm just saying, yes, from a technical standpoint... It is somehow better than whatever Sonic Boom the game tries to be. God, that game was unfinished. Like, they... they It wasn't made by Sega. Uh, it was outsourced by Big Red Button, which is kind of a no-name company. So, I guess you get what you pay for, you know? Yeah, at least... Here's the thing. Sonic 06 is... Sonic 06 as a game may have a lot of flaws. You know, it, there's a lot of glitches, and the overall physics of the game may be terrible. But, at least the story, for the most part, is a very solid experience. For the most part. There's some problems with the story. We know the elephant in the room. I don't feel like I should address it. There's a big problem with the story in one particular scene. But, you know, for the most part... It's actually a pretty good story. Also, this is... If a, if Casino Paradise was my favorite zone as a kid, this is my favorite zone as an adult. The music. Mm, the, the sprite work. Snow. It's got everything I like, baby. Uh, can I get up there as Sonic? Yeah, we can. Thank God. I feel like if this was Sonic 4 Episode 1, I wouldn't have been able to make that shit, which is really sad. But yeah, this is the first Sonic game actually made under the flagship of Dimps. Pocket Adventure was made by the team of Dimps. However, at the time, they were still part of SNK and not under the Dimps name. This was the first game that they actually had their own studio. And Sega was just kind of like, hey, you guys did really good at Pocket Adventure. Want to make another Sonic game? And they were like, yeah, sure. Which, you know, kind of created a trend sense because Dimps made a lot of Sonic games. <laughs> I mean, eventually the fruit of their efforts would be rewarded because they'd be able to work on the mainline games of Sonic 4, but, you know, considering the first Sonic 4 is really, really, really critically panned, uh, mixed opinions up the ass, and Episode 2 is really good, but uh, obviously Episode 1 being as infamous as it is kind of puts a bad negative connotation on the entirety of Sonic 4, which is a shame, because Episode 2 is an actually good game. Well, yeah, I heard it, it was kind of uh, a two-way street. Big Red Button worked with what they had, and uh, Sega didn't give them much to work with, you know? So, 
on one hand, you know, on one hand, Big Red Button did what they could. On the other hand, Sega didn't give them enough to work with. So, it, it, it's an unfortunate scenario overall. The fact, like you said, they had to work on the Wii U of all systems was just a mistake waiting to happen, considering how critically inferior that system was to everything else at the time. <laughs> I mean, the PS4, the Xbox One, you know. And they were stuck working on the Wii U, which already I heard was a nightmare to work for on it for developers. So, because apparently the overall architecture of the system was very bad, so... And unlike the PS3, which also had bad architecture, there was really no money incentive to work on that system because nobody was fucking buying it. <laughs> so, it, it was kind of doomed from the start, you know? Oh, water. Why don't I take the top path? Oh, shit. Bubble, please. Thank you. It's true. It It's fucking stupid. I really don't understand Sega's logic behind that one, but... I guess at the very least... It's a good thing Sega didn't lose faith in American studios, because we did get the Sonic movies out of them. So, you know, Sega is always uh, at least willing to try again, I guess. That's uh, the one caveat here, because if they took Boom to heart, they would have. we would likely never got the Sonic movies, since obviously they're American-made. Oh, bad. This is bad. I'm gonna drown. Ah! Okay, I'm good. Bottomless pit. Ah, oh, the Dimps classic. Okay, so Dimps is notorious for, in later stages of their games, putting a fuck ton of bottomless pits. I mean, a lot. And, uh, this game is no exception. This is the origin, I would say, of that rule. For better or worse. It gets really bad in later games. Bombless Pit. Man, it's like I know... I, it's like I've played Dimps games so much, I know their level design. But, uh... It's our last life. That's not good. I'll probably kill myself after this and just go back to level select. Because I'm playing on a completed save file. Ah, bah! Oh, ho, ho. Fear. One fear. Hey, Shiro, what's up? Oh, Jesus, get the fuck over here, Eggman, you little weenie. You little weenie! Oh, it's this boss. I remember this. I'm gonna drown. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, can you see how this boss fight works? It's kind of annoying, but, you know. What are you going to do? Ow! Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm dead. I'M NOT DEAD! <laughs> this boss stressed you out as a kid? I don't blame you. This shit stresses me out as an adult. But, although it did stress me out as a kid, so I can agree with that. Ah! 
Oh, how many more hits? Thank you! Fuck Ivo! <laughs> All my homies hate Ivo! Damn. And fuck you, Eggman. Why you gotta do this shit? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull off a low tier god. Hold up. Oh my god! Let me find a pot a spot to die, please. Come on, where's my dimps bottomless pits? No! Oh, okay, this isn't a bottomless pit, but I guess this is the next best thing. Oh! And I forgot that lives actually work differently in this game. Eggman's a total egghead. I forgot that zero actually counts as a life in this game. That's unlike the classic games, of course, because uh, typically... One is your last life. Alright. Well, I'm gonna kill myself anyway, so... Yeah, we can do about that game. Oh my god, please. Alright, cool. Now go back. Go back. Strategic death. Yeah, I gotta get all these lives back for the bottomless pit that's awaiting us. Okay, there's not that much left. Get me up here. Get me up here. I want to go up here. Doing. I did all this for fucking that. That was completely pointless. But hey, I got this neat shield. Cool. <laughs> oh, dude, how is that fucking game? Dude, that game looks so funny. You can, like, beat the shit out of a child and make a combo video out of it. What the fuck is that? How uh, How is the game? And uh, how is your Luke figure? Is it of quality? It's great. Dude, it, I, uh, Mecca and I are... We, we both want to play that next month for May. Like, may the force be with you or whatever. That's actually going to happen. Wait, can I get an extra life? I would really like an extra life. Wow! God, the sprite work. So funny. Ah! Oh! Uh, 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 uh. No! <laughs> Fuck! I'm so sad. It's unopened, but entirely complete. Wow. Lego, where you can be creative and built. Am I right? Isn't, like, building, like, part of the fucking Lego experience or some shit? I mean, granted, ha building a Lego figure takes, like, three seconds, so. Like, a, a Lego character. You just pop the head and the arms and whatever together, so. You built it in the bag? <laughs> okay, it's a Chad move. Okay, that's actually amazing.
Jesus Christ, you want to do with that? If you did that, I'd be fucking impressed. I'm not gonna lie. That'd be in insanely impressive. Oh, 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 oh. Is it Knuckles? No, no, no. Uh, Robo Knuckles is the boss of this zone. <laughs> I honestly... To be able to do something like that would take a lot of fucking work, so I don't blame you. Are you fucking with me? Okay. Remember the remember the whole multiple pathways concept? Me too. Row buckles. I actually don't remember the name of the robotic knuckles, but I like row buckles. I, I think that's close enough, honestly. Although, for some reason that reminded me. You said rope, rope buckles, and it reminded me of rope bussy, and I don't know why. Don't ask. Can I not? Are oh, you motherfucker? I ho how dare I explore? <laughs> you were just about to type rope bussy. <laughs> Great mind, sick alike. What can I say? Get out of my head! Robussy. It's just like the Harvussy. Shira, have you ever seen the Steve Harvey Pocket Pussy? AKA the Harvussy. Grind rails! Hey, get, get on the fucking grind rail. Thank you. Whee! Yo, what's wrong with the heart bussy? <laughs> oh, fuck, it's so bad. Why would you put the spikes there? What's the point? To destroy my momentum? God forbid, I fucking have momentum in my Sonic game. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who thinks of that? What if Mega Man could earn a coochie by defeating a woman robot? Who the fuck would ever think of that? Oh, I almost got crushed. That was almost a classic fucking Sonic special there. Crushed to death. Wait, I want to get in there. Come on, you can't tell me I can't get in there. You suck. Ah! Oh my god. The sprite work of this game is so cute. Also, obviously we have the Insta Shield. This is basically just Sonic Sonic 3 overall like moveset. Spin dash, insta shields, profit. That's it. Yeah, insta shield, as I would say. Get that! Oh, oh, Sonic, get that! Thank you. Grab the fucking whatever, the bar. Okay, I need to get all up. Come on, we gotta fight the robussy. Get the fuck out of here, you ugly little bitch. Ugly little badnik. I think Sonic does CrossFit. <laughs> oh god. Wait, what is CrossFit? Yo, is, is CrossFit like Wii Fit? Yeah, 
no, 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 no! Oh, you little fuck! Did I just fucking die because of that dickhead spring? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Sonic definitely crossfits. It's we fit but for Catholics. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, he when you're literally the fastest thing to ever exist, you probably could have the greatest CrossFit workout of all time. And considering Sonic is known as a fairly athletic character, I, I could definitely see it. Oh my god, please. Just get me to the robussy. Oh. Those things, for some reason, I feel like those things would fit. These would fit in a Mega Man game. Bottles fit. Oh, the gods have fucking. Oh fuck you! What a shitty enemy placement. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh fuck you! I didn't want to go up here. Yeah, here's the special stages. They're fucking, I will say, they're fucking terrible. So, uh, we're just gonna go straight to the final boss since I have a complete save file. So, yeah, I'm skipping a special stage. You know, you know it's fucking bad when I'm skipping a special stage. I mean, I could sit here and do this, but this just gets worse. I think all the Game Boy Advance special stages are pretty fucking terrible, all things considered. Although, getting an extra life would be very nice. <laughs> Probably be faster to be light. You can only live in darkness. It's true. Failure. Oh, my parents have been telling me that for years. You're not telling me anything different. <laughs> Nothing I haven't heard before. <laughs> Wait, is this a bottomless pit if I... Oh, okay, hold up. Maybe this is... Maybe this is the right way. Wait, does it sound like a Kingdom Hearts villain? Yo, does Xehanort talk about how his parents think he's a failure? Is that canon? I'm scared to go down. Because this is a Dimps game. And Dimps loves the bottomless pits. Parents don't exist in Kingdom Hearts. I'm scared to go downwards. Okay, at this point, I'm just going the wrong fucking way. Yo, when are we streaming? Yo, Black, when are you streaming that mobile game? That came out, like, for, like, shitty flip phones in, like, 2004 in the Kingdom Hearts series. You are such a little cock muncher, you know that? Ah! Talking about the Kingdom Hearts mobile game on foot phone. You know, it came out like 2004. Yeah, when are you gonna play that, bro? When's somebody gonna stream that shit? I don't want- I don't want- Smoge. Yeah, come on, where's my- where's my fucking flip phone game, guys? Oh, 40, 40 rings? Alright, alright. You stream the remaster? Alright, that's close enough. That's a remaster? They remastered that fucking game? Okay. Okay. I'm scared. I, that would be pretty amusing. Yeah, I want the Nokia version, exactly. 
All right, all right, Black. Make my dreams come true, buddy. No, 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 no. Okay, hold up, maybe. I'm gonna trust you, Dimps. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna trust Dimps. This is really against my better judgment. I'm gonna trust Dimps. Dimps, take me to a magical place. Oh! Wow, that would've been really nice to know. All right, where's the real bussy? There he is! The real bussy! This plays out exactly like the Sonic 3 fight, by the way. In case you were wondering. It's the exact same thing. Oh, he's pissed! No, the real bussy! <gasps> I'm a gamer! I'm a god! Fuck you! Sonic 2 looks great. Nokia theme. Listen, there might be a Nokia Kingdom Hearts theme, but will it top the fucking Open Your Heart theme from Sonic Pinball Party? Because that shit kind of hit different. What if Knuckles actually looked like that weird robot? Okay, this music's sick. Oh, Grey Knuckles? Isn't that a thing in the comics? I feel like Ken Penders made one of his OCs a fucking just silver echidna. Yeah, that is a character. What the fuck's his name? Come on. You guys know what I'm talking about. Somebody. Somebody. That's a character. Not fucking crazy, am I? Oh, this is just dickhead the stage. Oh! Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely level design by the classic Dimps. I love Dimps. Is this whole scene necessary? Why is it fucking automatically put fucking- Oh! Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out, Mr. Hedgehog. Yeah, if you don't get enough momentum there, you might as well just fucking kiss your ass goodbye, I've noticed, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In canon, the only other echidna... Well, there's two. Pac-a-Mac, or whatever the fuck his name is, to call's dad, and then to call. But in the Archie comics, there was like a whole slew of them. Because, you know, Ken Penders was like obsessed with echidnas for some fucking reason. Ah! Oh, we're fine. We're okay. Did I just fucking? You're fucking with me, right? Yeah, Pac a Mac, fucking Pac Man, where fucking his bitch ass name was. I mean, and then there's, like, all those unnamed echidnas that are, like, in the actual, like, past and adventures, like, back, like, flashback sections. But, you know, again, they don't have names. So they don't count.
Fuck you. I'm gonna take the shield. I'm rolling! Oh, see? Good thing I got the shield. Oh, fuck you. Why did I rev up my spin dash? For what purpose? Oh. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. One fear. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's... let's... <laughs> the phone version of Code It looks better than Recode It. Yo, let's go. Nokia fucking hype. Uh... I'm fucking scared, dude. This is just a bombless pit. What's the fucking point of this shit? Oh, hold up. Oh, oh platforming. Sonic. Oh! Lick, lick, lick my balls. Oh. I feel like I remember the second act of this zone being pretty fucking hard. This entire game looks like a shit show. What? Uh, code it? Whoa! Whoa! You little bitch! Did you see that? This game tried to set me up for fucking disaster. Dog dips! Fucking certified fucking dimps moment right there. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck you. I hate this guy. This stage sucks. This stage sucks. Now we bounce. I love how Dimps is like, idiot, you didn't think of bouncing five fucking times on that single thing? Like, thanks, Dimps. It definitely fucking makes sense in my eyes.
Oh, if I have to take my time, this is a Sonic game. Bow, 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 now, now, now. I am scared, but I am willing to try. If Daddy Dimp says this is the right way, then I I will believe them. Thank you, Father Dimps. Fuck you, Father Dimps. Fuck you, Father Dimps! What? Who does that? What is the fucking point? I fucking hate you guys so much. You fucking suck. These are such fucking assholes, I swear. Son of a bitch. <laughs> fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> fucking stupid fucking dips. Look at this shit. You've just been dimpsed! Oh! But wait, there's more! Oh. Fucking Christ. I love these guys, my favorite badnik. God, Dimps really does love those fucking, uh, what are they called? The fucking boost panels, I swear. <laughs> They're just like, fuck it, add some boost panels. Oh, gravity. You could say this is Sonic in zero gravity. Haha, -ha, I'm fucking original, guys. Na 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 Oh please. Oh you dick! Okay, at least my knockback's not like awful. Okay, jump. Leap of faith. Believe in daddy dimps. They would never do you harm. Except right there! Father dimps, no! Papa! Papa Dimps, please! What the fuck, man? What the fuck is this shit? Who the fuck puts that there? Oh, this is fucking some douchebaggery. This is some douche fucking baggery. The Lakers missed the playoffs. Fucking lol. <laughs> Damn, sucks to suck, I guess. That's actually fucking, like, so, like, sad when you consider, like, that team, you know? Like, that is so fucking sad. Alright, there we go. Father Dimps. Cosmic Angel Zone. Please, Father Dimps. Please love me. Daddy Dimps! Daddy Dimps, please. Why was that man sitting? It was AD. It was AD fucking playing? I haven't even fucking been keeping up much on NBA. I'm not gonna lie. He's yo. He was sitting because he's done with the Lakers, bro. Ankle soreness. Oh. Uh... Damn, Jordan would never, 
Jordan would go fucking play some grocery workers instead and be praised for it, you know what I'm saying? Didn't make the difference. Who the fuck sets this shit up? Do you see this fucking layout? Oh my god. Three fucking times in a row, they set up the exact same layout, too. It's not even like it was once. Three fucking times, they copy and pasted the same exact fucking concept. Are you fucking with me? Are you fucking- FUCK! Why the fuck would you do that? Dips! 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 Certified dips moment. Dips, please, father. Father dips. Oh, oh. God. Oh my fucking god. Daddy! More like dip shits. <laughs> Dude, dips. It's so funny, because this game is really fun, but Jesus Christ, sometimes the level design... This is like... This is just the fucking... This is just the beginning of how much douchebaggery Dimps fucking gets. They just love fucking making Sonic games with a bunch of spikes and bombless pits. Look at this! What the fuck is this here for? Like, actually, what the fuck is this here for? Ooh! Ooh, daddy! Why? Why? What is they fucking- Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Why is there so fucking many? Ooh, who the fuck thought this was okay? Come on, man. What the fuck? Who put all those fucking spikes? And now we have a boss This whole gimmick is spikes. You fucking cock muncher. You just fucking, you just sucking all kinds of fucking ass, aren't you, bro? Eggman's death of booty eater. Yeah, he is. Back when he was married, he was a booty eater. Fuck you, Eggman. Oh, Ligma. X-Zone! God, this is fucking raw. You ready to fight a bunch of old bosses? Like this one from Sonic 1. Ball and Chain Guy. The classic. Get my fucking ring. Ow! How am I fucking getting my ass kicked by Ball and Chain Guy? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Please, James Harden, don't do that. Oh, God. Ah, oh, and here's a boss from Sonic 2. <laughs> Kunai with chain. Exactly. The classic. I grow tired of you, Eggman. Oh! Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. Do you, do you, 
Can you not do that? Can you not do that? I gotta hand it to you, Eggman. This is like literally the simplest boss concept and I keep getting hit by it. Do we know what Martha looks like? No. I like to imagine Martha's wife looks just like him. Hey, fuck you. I hate that I kept getting hit by that. <laughs> Dude, I remember seeing a really fucking sick, like, made-up backstory for Eggman at one point, and it was so funny. I It was like, oh, here we go. It was like fucking Eggman being like a World War fucking 2 veteran or some shit. It was so funny. I, I gotta find that video. It's like a 45 minute origin story for Eggman someone made up. Warning. <clears throat> I don't know how many hits he takes, but I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, you suck, dick. Oh, fuck you, Eggman! And fuck that, that sucked dick. Wow. Oh, look at the little flickies and Sonic's friends. A few days later. Yeah, what was Sonic <laughs> what did Sonic take a while to get back from the fucking moon? Tails was like, where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is. Very reminiscent of a Sonic 2 ending here. Yep, there he is. Why did it take him so long? Congratulations! Thank you for playing! There you go, that's... that's Sonic Advance. <laughs> yeah, but they were fighting on the moon, right? They were fighting on the moon, and he's still in his super form. Or at least, unless Eggman made his own moon. I, I guess that's not completely out of the question, but it looks like they're on the moon. How far... Yeah, how far out in space? It, it looks like, it just says, actually it says X zone, so it doesn't say, but it looks like the moon. So maybe Eggman made his own moon, or, actually, there are many moons. Hey, he did piss on the moon that one time. Good question, actually, where X zone takes place, but X zone looks like it takes place on the moon. Maybe it's not the moon, but a, something that looks like the moon. But yeah, there's Sonic Advance. Fun game. You know, few, definitely the one with the least amount of dimps moments. So when we get to Advance 2 and 3, I'll probably be really pissed off. But uh, this game is fun. I always enjoy this game. It's always a great time. So for being the first 
Nintendo released Sonic game, I think it was a strong start. And uh, definitely an end of an era, you know? Sonic's first gateway into third-party developing. Uh, it's bittersweet, really, because it's a great game. At the same time, you know, it was to show that we would never get another Sega-made console. Which is sad, but it is what it is. You know, and we got a lot of great memories back then and few forward from this game. So, I definitely like to think of this game as the gateway to a new era of Sonic. Because, you know, it, it quite literally is. But yeah, I recommend it. It's definitely better than 2 and 3. They're both obviously... 2 is decent. 3 is pretty not good from what I've heard. But Advance is the closest to the classic games. And a really fun experience overall. Very nostalgic for me. So I definitely appreciate what it is. And, you know, thank Dimps for actually making something fun.